Hello again YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Kaiju Corner. Today we're going to be playing a game called Slime Rancher. Let's see. Doop doop. <laughs> I kind of like that. And we'll just do Kaiju Slime. Select game mode. Casual. Without any threats, rush. Nah, we'll just do adventure. And so, I know this is probably a weird game to see on this channel, but I mean, kaiju's means strange beast, and slimes, especially the slimes in this game, are pretty weird. They come in a, a wide variety. And uh, furthermore, this is actually just a game that I rather enjoy. I haven't played it in a long time, so we're gonna. Start it all the way back over. And for anyone who doesn't know the gist of this game, it's it's like a farm sim, but with a little more of an adventure aspect to it. Cause uh, see, check it out, you get a gun. But uh, yeah, the whole point of this game. Oh, he just came in zooming. Uh, see, a little cute little slime right here. The stereotypical, almost iconic slime little blob with a smiley face. Yoink! And you get this little neat Ghostbusters sort of gun to suck them up like to do the ghosts. Oh, chicken. But this is a really fun, chill type of game. Oh, chickens and baby chicks. Uh, but so, yeah. There's a little bit of a story here. You're someone who wants to be a slime rancher, so you get sent to this uh, a slime ranch, essentially what they call it. You inherit it from someone. And so you're on this far off planet full of slimes. And instead of crops, which I mean, you do get crops that you can farm, but you're mostly trying to farm these slimes because they make something called plorts, which are your main resource and money in this game. It's how you buy upgrades for everything. But, uh, just to kind of show you, boop, 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 shoot some food into the pen with them. They'll eat them up and they'll make a plort through these little crystal things, which are literally just their poop. So, yep, the whole point of this game is to farm slime poop. Boop. And here, it's like the... <laughs> economy, I guess. You can see how much money the plorts are worth and how much you'll get for them. And so you want to find slimes that make more valuable plorts, crossbreed them, and yeah, this is always in flux, kind of like a real world economy. But yeah, this is a really fun game. Let's see if I remember. I don't remember what the button to check mail is. Oh, here's upgrades for your person. And then this is a trade mechanic. You have to upgrade that later on. But then as you saw over here, a little oop, a little pin. And you can come here and you make upgrades to it. And you can see all the different little plots of land. And as you play further into the game, you can unlock new areas, which give you access to more plots and sometimes special conditions. Like that's a cave, because there are certain slimes that can only live in the dark. Like uh, these pink slimes, these are your basic slimes. They'll eat anything, they can live anywhere, they'll be fine. But some other slimes, they'll only eat certain things, they can only live certain places. I have mail, but I don't remember how to check mail. Oh, here we go. Star mail. Do -do, rise and shine. From Cassie. Do -do, star exploring, blah 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 blah. Welcome to the Far Far Range, which is the name of the place you are. 
the 7z corp which i guess is the people that you work for and essentially yeah this whole it's a whole sort of farm sim explore really not too much all to say about that until we get further into the game but yeah so we got some slimes I'm actually gonna let's see can I make a chicken coop I don't think I have enough of my Oop, coop 200 I have just enough for a chicken coop and so pink slimes their arm omnivorous they'll eat anything especially chickens and so you kind of have to keep them safe and I learned early on that you gotta keep the chickens away from the pinks because these guys will desperately try to get after your chickens and just devour them but if you leave chickens alone in a pen where they're safe you know as you see they make little baby chickens and so you as long as you let them live, you'll have a steady supply of chickens that you can feed to your slimes. Yoink! Oh, discovered a new area. Hello? You'd activate. Hello, name's Hobson Twiggler's rancher explorer and former owner. Ah, so the former owner of the ranch that we're currently working at. And you find these little notes they leave you all throughout the world. And it was pretty neat. In my old game, I started getting far enough to where you start uncovering like runes and like secrets to where almost like a uh, Subnautica where you start finding secret stuff. Oh, little fruit tree. Wow. Maybe not keep too many slimes. Oh, carrots. So we have some more slimes, have some food to give them. And this lady that you play as can sprint super quick. Alright. Alright, that might be enough. Boop, and just load them up with food. So you notice that slimes, they'll bounce around. But slimes are also pretty smart, they'll start doing that. They'll start stacking each other up and hop over the fence to get out. <laughs> it's quite a nuisance, especially with these guys, because then they'll just get out and eat all your chickens. Alright. Cash in. Alright, we got a little bit of money. Not quite enough to really buy anything else, though. I don't think, unless... Airnet? No. That's almost 500 for that, and that's... That's pretty important for keeping them contained. It's, uh... Maybe a few more. Poop poop. Slime poop. Sometimes you can sort of force feed them like that by shooting food at them. I don't want to keep too many in there until we can put a, a net on there to keep them contained. <laughs> and we'll just send these guys back. Do, do. Oh. Found some ports in the wild. Ooh, a chicken. Oh, here's we got some new slimes. Kitty cat and some kind of rocky slime. They seem to be stuck together. But you'll soon learn that some slimes can hurt you, like those guys. The spiky ones, they'll just bounce into you and hurt you. But then there's another issue. That you learn about. Oop, stay away. Nope, not that one. Oh, 
when you get into crossbreeding your slimes. See if we can. Oh, it's starting to get dark, so this is when trouble begins to arise. Because trouble arises when too many slimes of different types get together. The key to crossbreeding slimes to make use of getting a variety of plorts is you really just take one slime and feed it the poop of another slime and they'll mutate. But if they mutate too much, they'll turn into an issue. Something called a tar, which are very not fun to deal with. They often, they, they typically do form in the wild sort of naturally, but you only have to really worry about them at dark like it is right now. But right now we're kind of just exploring, looking for more food sources. Oh, I heard a chicken. Baby chick. So it seems chickens like to spawn around well, these nests. And then of course, carrots spawn in patches. Fruits spawn on trees, yada yada. And I believe those are the the three food sources, fruits, veggies, and meat. Oh. Well, here's some example of crossbred slimes. Pink and the blue hanging out and they're eating whoop, uh, each other's poop. They gain the characteristics and features of the other slime, but they also become too big to suck up in your vacuum, so you can't really transport them Oops. to <laughs> here's some more over here can't really transport them to your farm oh, oh there's the first one a tar uh, unless you want to do it uh, one by one oof just bit me But, uh, I guess we'll head back. What was this? E to activate. Oh, nice! Shows the actual map. That's cool. So here we are. And then I believe our farm is he here? Or maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Anyway, let's get back to the farm. Oop. Oh, I ran right into that one. Well, one of them just ate a chicken. But this is a very relaxing sort of game. As you can see, some of the chicks grew up to be hens. They just get bigger over time. They always seem to grow when you're not looking at them. Slimes seem to be in good nature. Because when you don't feed them regularly, they can become pretty grumpy. But I think we will call that here for here for right now, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll probably do a further, like an actual full let's play of this game because I really like it. It's quite enjoy, uh, quite enjoyable, quite relaxing. And so yeah, 
See you later, dudes.